Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tim from Tim's Electronics Lab and welcome back to a new video in which we look back at uh, a previous video of mine, uh, namely video 57, uh, the conversion to a solar powered Gardena uh, sprinkler computer controller thing. So the, the, the goal of this video is a little bit different than usual. Uh, we're going to look back at um, that video, uh, check how the controller is acting up right now and um, try to figure out uh, if any improvements can be made or if things went very bad. So let's uh, turn it around actually. And I guess that this uh, says enough. I mean, yeah. I don't think that this uh, oh, is correct. It's uh, very waterproof anymore. Let's remove this. This is still in one piece. Reset button. Yeah, this is still well, okay. And I think I glued this in. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yes, I did. No, I did not glue it, but... Oh, the... the glue is losing. Alright, um, let's get my uh, X-Acto uh, knives. So, precision uh, knives. Let's cut the actual hot glue I used to mount in quotes the solar panel now it originally was black and i noticed that it was warping very much as you can see because it was black and it, it was basically in full sunlight the whole summer and yeah you know black absorbs absorbs all light and white reflects it and that's why it uh, it warped so much because it absorbed all the, the sunlight and that's why my um, uh, windmill uh, is going to be white to hopefully prevent the warping of the, the thing oh yeah okay yeah this one is done <laughs> This one is done. Let's remove. I think everything is still okay ish, except for the battery charge controller. Let's remove this. Let's see if there's any voltage on these batteries. I don't expect it uh, to be. One point two, one point three volts. Yeah, they're pretty dead. So that's uh, yeah, they don't work. Maybe uh, if they, if you revive them. But I don't think that's uh, a good idea. Now the ESP. Yeah. It's it's a bit... Let me take a uh, photo for reference. Using the camera. Okay, this is the 3.3-volt uh, regulator, that was, I think that's still working, but hey, uh, look at the, the battery charge controller circuitry, that's, oh, it's disgusting. Yeah, that really is uh, disgusting, so 
I uh, when seeing this thing, I know for a fact that my uh, outdoor uh, electronics building skills uh, can be improved a little. It's uh, a total mess. I'm I'm hoping that this thing actually still works because it's rather expensive. Now the main problem of this. Um, thing failing is that the case uh, didn't fit anymore uh, because of the warping. I used this. Yeah, I think this this one should be okay. I used this one uh, in a previous version uh, that didn't have a solar panel, and it was still taking another screenshot or another photo and it didn't have a solar panel and it was all fine so So the, the normal solar powered version was okay uh, without any problems and yeah this one is uh, messed up uh, quite a bit yeah this one looks okay a couple of things here and there but I suppose we clean it up yeah this is a uh, total mess I mean you can see that the uh, the USB port is also very uh, messy. And yeah, that's the, the reset button. There was a problem that the um, when the uh, battery got fully discharged and um, it started charging again, the system wouldn't reset. So that's why the button is there. Ah, this looks really bad I mean look at this this is really bad it surprises me that the components are actually Quite stuck. Uh, let's try to remove the actual board. To check what the damage is. Try to. Yeah. Yeah, this one is not going to work again. Well, the glue did actually kind of saved the the top part of the the board. But yeah, this, this board is uh, all corroded. Yeah, this one won't work again. And I think that this ESP is also done. Just like this, uh, this step up module. So, uh, yeah, I guess I will be. Uh, Converting this thing into a, a 9 volt plug powered board very soon 
because uh, summer is coming and we actually need the, the thing to, uh, to work. But the, this one uh, seems okay. I mean, it's. Uh, let's open this one up. I guess this one is meant for. Oh, this one is. This one is meant for these conditions. Very tight screws, which is fine because then you know it's secured and it's well sealed, I guess. Okay, so put this one back on. So, yeah, that's uh, this one's a little bit dirty. Let me grab some. Um, cleaning uh, stuff and clean this board up so we're using a bit of alcohol let's try to clean up the board well that's it basically the board is now clean and there is a uh, 12 volt input to here, so let's uh, let's test it. And let's plug it in. Either smoke or good things are going to come out. Hey. We've got a 5 volt uh, LED and if we take the modimeter and probe the 5 volts, yeah we get 5 volts, so that's uh, good, nice and steady. Okay, cool, so this one uh, is working. I'm going to clean up the screw terminals at the top of the device because they're a little dirty. And uh, I'll convert this back to a regular solar powered thing or non solar powered thing and tr try if uh, see if that's working again. So, thanks guys for watching this very short video. Uh, I hope you liked this update, stylish video. If you did, please let me know. And uh, you can also request items that you'd like to see an update of. Uh, and if it's a good idea, then I will make uh, a video from it. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment down below. You can also share this video with your friends if you think they will like it too. See you next time.